Good evening and welcome to worship. Thank you to everyone who is here in person, for those of you joining us online. Tonight we will be doing a version of Holden Prayer Around the Cross. Um, those of you here, everything you need is in your bulletin. If you are online, the bulletin is available on our website and there is a separate document with the readings for tonight. The service is a little bit different. It uses what we usually like of singing, praying, and reading, um, but we will spend time together um, doing, entering into a time of contemplative prayer. Uh, if you're joining us at home, you might want to have a candle in front of you. We will have a time where you will be, if you are here in person, you will be invited to come forward to light a candle and to pray. We've got four stations. You can either come up to the altar and kneel at the railing, or you can sit in one of the pews, whatever is more comfortable to you. If you're joining us at home during that time, you are welcome to do whatever is comfortable, light a candle and praying from your own comfort space. If you would please stand as you are able. The peace of Christ be with you. Let us pray. Into our darkness, doubt, and despair. Come, Christ Jesus, be our light. Into our sorrow, sickness, and grief. Come, Christ Jesus, be our comfort. Into each conflict, division, and war. Come, Christ Jesus, be our hope. When we call to you, hear our cry. Do not abandon us, but draw near. Come, Christ Jesus, be our life. Amen. We have gathered to pray. Our prayer is woven of silence, scripture, and song. The lights are dimmed, inviting us to be still in the presence of God as the Holy Spirit opens our hearts to receive the word that is our refuge and strength. The music is simple and easily learned. In our singing and in our sighs, too deep for words, we are breathing prayer to God. Be still now, rest in the darkness and silence of the evening. God is near. wild. Sometimes it's not much that I am in the wilderness, but that the wilderness is in me. Perhaps for you as well, storms stir and waters rise. And though the wilderness within is drenched, fires burn hot. For me, this is hell. Caught somewhere between drowning and going up in flames, but never forget that you yourself were created wild, which is why you should not fear. Never forget that your cry need not be tame. And if your voice shakes, I pray you feel no shame because now and then even the earth itself quakes. But more than that, know that you are not and never will be alone. Know that when you pass through the waters, you will come out baptized. And when you walk through fire, the phoenix within 
will be revealed, born a new creation, out of ashes of resurrection, still wild, still called by name. Psalm 46. God is our refuge and strength, a very, very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth be moved, though the mountains shake in the depths of the sea, though its waters rage and foam, and the mountains tremble with its tumult. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy habitation of the Most High. God is in the midst of the city. It shall not be shaken. God shall help it at the break of day. The nations range and the kingdom shake. God speaks and the earth melts away. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our strong stronghold. Come now, regard the works of the Lord, what desolations God has brought upon the earth. Behold the ones who makes wars to cease in all the world who breaks the bow and shatters a spear and burns the shields with fire. Be still, then, and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. about you, but those words hit a little bit differently tonight. Though the earth shall change, though the mountains tremble, though the waters rage, you, God, are here. Though the nations war, though the peoples battle, though the empires falter, we will not fear. Many among us are troubled and afraid individuals, families, communities, churches, and nations. Let us name aloud friends and strangers, situations and places in our world, now filled with fear or deeply troubled. I will invite you wherever you are, in person or online, in the silence to speak a name, a place or a situation. And after saying so, use the phrase, be not afraid. We will respond. God is with you. God is with you. Tornado victims in Iowa, be not afraid. God is with you.
10, be not afraid. Carl, be not afraid. June, be not afraid. God is with you. All those names on our heart, be not afraid. Hold near, O oh God, all for whom we pray, and lead us into your peace. Amen. God never stands far off, but is close at hand. In Christ Jesus, God draws near to us, offering grace upon grace, mercy beyond measure, and life without end. You who are troubled or in distress, you who feel separated from God's love, come to the cross where Christ receives your burden and gives you rest. The God of hosts is with us. Come, you who are filled with anxiety, you who tremble when the earth is moved and your world begins to crumble. God is our help in trouble. You who comfort those who weep and you who wait with those near death, come to the one who is our hope and final home. God is our solace and shelter. Come, you who are burdened with pain or grief, you who are bound by guilt or shame. God is our river of mercy. You who cry out for wars to cease and violence to end, come to the one who will crush our weapons of war and turn our hearts toward peace. God alone is our defense. Join us in singing as the chant begins. When you are drawn, Come forward to pray. Be still and know that God is near.
Gathering our many prayers into one, let us pray. Merciful God, source of all goodness and life, into your wide embrace we place all for whom we pray. Grant that we, having turned toward you in prayer, now might turn toward one another in peace. Attend the world with justice and mercy. For the sake of Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. And now may Almighty God bless us and keep us and grant us peace. Amen. You may leave quietly or stay a while to pray. When you go, go in peace. God is near. <laughs>